All right, people, I'm just getting home. I'm finna go in here and chill for a minute, then I'm get to working. Clean these bluegill. I think I'm gonna uh, scale these and leave these here whole. So y'all stay tuned. Peace. So a lot of people use a, a spoon to scale, but I like using a knife, like a hunting knife, cause it got an edge on it and it, it lift, lifts them scales up pretty good. Just make sure you hit the body real good. Get up under them fins. Get up under this, get up under the tail fin. You want to get on top of the tail fin. Flip them over, start from the tail and work it up. Get around that brish. You want to scale it. You want to scale all the way up to the crown of that head, to where the meat stop. And you don't have to be scared to use a knife. No, you're not gonna. No, you're not gonna cut your hand off. Just in the process, just make sure you don't stick yourself. Stick yourself on now, one of them dorsal fins.
all right people so got them all scaled why don't you take the heads off I bought this little thing right here. I use it, use it when I can. You don't have to use nothing like this. You can just use a, you can use a fillet knife to cut the head off. You want to cut that head off where the meat started right there, the meat started right there. You just cut that head off and you follow that line down to the butthole. I mean, if you want to, you can cut it around and cut it behind that, behind that fin and come back that way if you want all this here right here. I don't. That's all stomach. It, it really ain't got no meat on it. All right, people, and that's it. That's it on that part. Next thing you want to do, I know y'all don't want to see this. Next thing you want to do is just reach in there and pull the guts out. Can't be scared to get your hands dirty. If you want to, you can cut that, cut that butthole all the way out. If you want to. Just going back in and cleaning them up a little bit more. Clean as much as I can up. Clean as much as I can clean outside. That way I don't have to do it in the house. Is it, people? All right, people, that's it, people, real simple. You know what I'm saying? Y'all stay tuned, I'm about to go on the inside and we're gonna fry up uh, a couple pieces of those uh, bluegills. So y'all stay tuned, boss man. Put you like a put you like a tablespoon of salt in there. And if you're gonna cook something right away, 
you can let it sit for about an hour or two or you can let it sit for like for like 24 hours just wrap it up and put it in the refrigerator i got a couple things going on i'm gonna show y'all what i got going on so i got my grease going over here letting it warm up got my batter pans got my vacuum sealer I got my fish right there and uh i think i'm just gonna use some garlic and some salt that, that cajun batter already got a little got cayenne pepper in it so i don't want to make it too hot and that's all we're gonna use today garlic and just some salt I got the Cajun, Cajun crispy fry and uh, seasoned fry. I'm gonna mix both of them together and, and make my uh, make my batter. And uh, I'm gonna rinse this uh, fish off. So I'm gonna fry some fish and I'm gonna vacuum seal at the same time. So y'all stay tuned. All right. So first, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get my batter ready first. heating up go ahead and close one of these one side of these bags all right while the, while the grease getting hot I'm gonna go ahead and start vacuum sealing some of these uh bluegill so I'm gonna pick out pick out a couple that I'm gonna that I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna cook some of these smaller ones and say the say the big ones. Just I'm just fry these right here for y'all. And I'm gonna uh, vacuum seal all these here. So these are the ones that I'm going to vacuum seal. So when you vacuum sealing, you want to get all the water off of whatever you're going to vacuum seal because it, if you don't, it's not going to seal right. That's it, people. Go. One pack ready.
Ouais, pris. That's it. Got two bags. Get you a little sharpie. You put your date on there. I caught the even on the field for That's how you do that, people. All right, so what I'm doing next, I'm finna score, score these uh, bluegill. And all scoring is, is just cutting, cutting little slits in the, in the uh, fish. And that's all you do is just take your fish and you just cut it. Just cut, just cut it to the bone. Just cut it to the bone, just like that. You do it on both sides. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna put a little garlic and a little salt on it. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Y'all know how I am with the garlic. Heavy, I'm going heavy with the garlic. Flip them over. garlic that's it that's all the seasoning we're gonna put on it so you put them put that fish off up in there let that batter get off up in them cracks Get off up in them scoring marks and off up in that belly. Mix it around real good. I'm gonna put that I'm gonna put one in there first. Test my grease out so shake your excess off. And uh Go. Crank it up some more. Let that boy get extra crispy. Extra crispy. Come out of there, so. get them on up out of there. There you go. That grease ought to be right now, so. Get that batter down off up in them off up in them slits them cuts you want to get the batter down deep down off up in there and get 
bend that fish like that and get that batter down off up in there. Pack that batter down off up in there. Pack that batter in there. Just pack it on in there. Just pack it. Shake him off. Let him go. Oh yeah. That boy cooking now. Go ahead and get a couple more ready. Gonna let these boys get nice and crispy. When that fish starts rising to the top like that, it's pretty much done. But you can let if you want it nice and crispy, just leave it in there a couple more minutes. But while we waiting on them, I'm gonna go ahead and pinch me a pinch me a little piece off of this here. Well, look at that, look at that meat, look at that white meat. Oh man, I taste that garlic. Oh man, that's good, man. That is delicious. Look at that meat just. Look at that meat just. Look at that meat just peeling off of that bone. Pull that meat off that bone. Won't be nothing left but a skeleton. Now look at that meat. Look at that. Look at that meat I pulled off that. Off of that bone. It's not over season. I ain't putting up a garlic on there and a little bit of salt. Then I use that the seasoned batter and that Cajun batter. That, that's all you need on there. You don't need you don't need no more season than that. It tastes good, just like this here. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get these out of there. They nice, nice and crispy. Oh yeah.
come to conclude you on that. Go ahead and pull these balls up out of there. Man, you ain't never seen no bluegill look that good, man. Man, man, come on, man. Look at that bluegill, man. You ain't never seen no bluegill cook like that, man. Golden brown like that, man. I got one more piece. Say the best for last. Let me bring this over here so y'all can see it. Oh, look at that blue gear, man. Oh, look at that. Give me one of these blue gears out of there. Slide that over there. I ain't gonna make y'all wait around on that last piece. Put a little dab, dab of hot sauce on there. Look at that. Meat just peeling right off the bone. Ooh, it's hot. Man. Look at that meat just peeling off. Look at that meat just peeling off the bone. Ooh, it's hot. Now look at that meat. Man, that's so good. Man, that's so good. I'll slap your mama. I'm gonna get one more piece, man. I ain't gonna do y'all like that. Man, I'm about to let y'all go, man. I got, I got, I need to use both of my hands. Mm-hmm. Boy, I'll tell you. Shut him down. And that's it, man. Look at that blue gear, man. I got one, I got one more little, little, I got one more little pinch over here, man. And, and uh, dab it in that hot sauce. 
No, I'm talking about. You know. Mm -mm. Boy, I wish y'all could taste this bluegill, man, but, but you already know. You ain't getting a piece. This boss, man, I'm out. Show myself like this here.